one of the reasons that I like to use video in the art classroom is to help um, reinforce some of the skills that we're learning about. Um, video also um, helps when you know, I'm trying to teach a concept and I've said it over and over again, sometimes video actually engages them a little bit um, differently than I would as a teacher. Um, it also showcases some, some different things that I might not be able to show them in the classroom, but um, is definitely an artistic technique that we might be studying. Another reason I use video in my classroom is when we're doing a specific reading story and we want to research more about the topic. So if we're reading about whales, we'll go online and research um, like the, the white whale or the blue whale or the humpback whale or the killer whale and research more about that. I use um, technology or videos to help students learn. I want to I use them to reinforce information with the students. I'll use them to reteach information. Um, I use videos to teach new concepts to them. And then we use videos to have fun. Um, that's definitely most important. And I use videos in my classroom to enrich the learning experiences of my students. It's one thing to hear daily from me uh, about math or science, but it's another thing to get many different voices into the classroom and many different methods and, and, and hopefully the students will be able to pick up on those methods and uh, learn what they need to learn. So I am a visual learner, so it follows suit that I would also um, teach that way. And so I do use a lot of video. And we're not talking fully length features or anything, but I like to use a lot of different um, excerpts and snippets to enhance what I've already taught. Um, I also know that they say about 65% of students are visual learners, so why would I not use video in my classroom? So um, a lot of the videos that I'll pull in will be demonstrations on some of the activities or processes that we're doing in the classroom, but some of the videos actually reinforce some of the artists that we're studying. Um, and I like to actually embed them in the lessons that I'm using. So what might be pulled up as a picture on the smart board, um, when they click on the picture, we'll then take them to a video link that might talk a little bit more about um, how the artist created that work or might even give a biographical um, explanation of the artist, where they were from, how they made it, what mediums they used. So um, video is definitely something that just enhances the experience of learning in the art classroom. Yeah, keep going, girl. How, is that it? What else do you want me to say? Was there like a how? It helps calm them down. I use a variety of tools. I use Pinterest. Um, I go onto Pinterest at night a lot, and I find a lot of good ideas. And so I just pin them to my board so that I can access at school and pull up the videos there. Um, I've looked at TeacherTube. I look at YouTube. Um, I use my teammates. My teammates have really good technology skills, and so they find a lot of different videos for us. Raz Kids I use to help with teaching reading and stuff. Um, in Fort Collins history, the district provided um, DVDs for teaching the Fort Collins history lesson, and it's divided up into like six different segments. And then from there, we did a main idea segment where the kids did a main idea about one of the main important people in Fort Collins history. In writing, we'll use Little Bird Tales. And it's a writing project that they'll do with their fifth grade book buddies, and then they turn that into a video of their story as well. Um, I use video for math, uh, Khan Academy. I use video for, for science, uh, discovery education, um, to enrich those learning experiences for all the kids. I use video for, I use Khan Academy for math, and to flip my classroom about two to three times a week. Um, I also use Discovery Ed because it's a bank with thousands of videos and so um, I'll teach a concept and then I'll just uh, type in whatever I uh, t just taught and usually can find a two to three minute video that um, enhances it. So for example I taught about um, joints the other day so I typed in elbow joint and I found a two minute video. So it's so cool to have that teaching tool. Um, my favorite way to use video though is in social studies. Um, I always tell the kids their imagination is so much greater than anything Hollywood could ever produce, um, even with all the special effects. However, fifth graders have a hard time um, imagining what it was like during the American Revolution. 
So I like to show uh, scenes from the HBO miniseries John Adams. And the whole thing's not appropriate, and I would never show all of it, but they have a scene of the Boston Massacre that is absolutely amazing. The kids love it. It brings that period to life. Also, uh, Ben Franklin, uh, George Washington, John Adams, all of those people, it just brings them to life. So that's really my favorite way to use video with fifth graders. And the last thing I'm so excited about is this summer I'm going to take a cell phone documentary class. And so, um, because I know that most fifth graders have a cell phone, and on that cell phone is a cool little camera that's capable of making a video. And so, they also uh, tend to have trouble with nonfiction. So, I am going to teach them about nonfiction through the lens of the cell phone and making a documentary. So, I love video.